Hi everyone, I'm Brittany Des, the USF Student Body President. I'm Bernie Anderson, a professor of molecular medicine and associate dean in the Morsani College of Medicine. There's a lot of emphasis on proper hand washing. The CDC recommends we wash for 20 to 30 seconds. So what if you fall short of that? There's a big difference. Let's test your hands by putting your hands on the culture plate and see how many bacteria are present. Okay, you can see looking at the culture plate from the sample where you did not wash your hands, there's a lot of germs. It's possible some of these could be disease-causing germs, but there are plenty of bacteria and microbes present. Okay, now go ahead and wash your hands. I'm not sure that's long enough, but let's see what happens. Looking at the second plate where you quickly wash your hands, you can see the number of bacteria have gone down slightly, but obviously the job isn't completely done and not all the microbes have been removed. Now go ahead and wash your hands using the protocol that CDC recommends. Okay, let's test your hands after you wash them the CDC approved way. Looking at the culture plate for the sample where you wash your hands following the CDC protocol, you can see the number of microbes and germs present has gone down drastically. As you can see, your hands pick up a lot of germs. Especially from our phones and backpacks. Even things you don't realize like eyeglasses. Every time you adjust your glasses, you likely touch your face. Of course, from door handles and bathrooms and direct contact. Yes, no need to high five or shake hands. It's not disrespectful. Maybe just an elbow bump. Or a head nod. Thanks, Dr. Anderson.